What up you guys, just a, just a got beats here and today I have a Migos tutorial slash drop effect for you guys. I got asked by somebody how I did the uh, drop effect in iOS on GarageBand. I'm doing this on my iPhone 8 Plus, so it's real easy. I'm gonna walk you guys through it as well as the chord progression I use, the instrumentation and the drums. Let's get it. All right, you guys, so pretty much in this first um, screen I'm showing you, it's just the bass and the drums because I want you guys to just get a feel for the beat. It's pretty simple, you know, just mix up your hi-hats and stuff, but I'll show you all that right now. All right, you guys, so in this next clip, I'm just showing you the chord progression that I use. Um, it's better to learn about chord, chord progression, excuse me, if you don't know about it, you can go ahead and Google it. Um, it just creates a fuller, better sounding beat in general. Um, so to me, that's vital that you guys learn, but you guys can see on here uh, the notes that I used and stuff like that. Or you can also go ahead uh, and use the harmonics uh, minor scale, which is uh, similar to the Phasian scale. So you can use that as well and work on that until you all right something that i think that's key in most trap beats not all trap beats need you know thirds and quarters and all that you know those kind of variations but in this case with migos you know a lot of times they use a lot of variation in their hi-hats and in trap beats in general so it's good to have variation work it to your liking, you know, make it something that's going to vibe with the beat and give it a little bit more bounce as well. All right, so in this uh, screenshot, I'm showing you guys the uh, synth bass that I used. I wanted something that had like a little bit of a growl kind of sound to it, so I used the Agile synth bass. All right, so in this next shot, I'm just showing you the instruments that I use so you can um, get a feel for how it sounds. I pretty much, I used the piano. I believed I used like a uh, harp an arp, an arpeggiated arp, and a uh, bell sound. And then my uh, little funky bass line, I think it was bass FM that I used for that one. Right, and next the question I got asked how I did the effect, how I made it drop down and stuff like that. So pretty much I just pulled up the effects tab in um, GarageBand iOS on my phone um, and I used the filter effect as you can see and I um, just played with it. You know, do it to your liking. I'm not going to tell you there's a right way or a wrong way to do it. Just do it to the way that you like it and something that's going to mesh well with the beat and make a really good drop. So just play around with it. You know, as you can see, I'm just playing around with the effects and stuff like that, but you can really do a lot with your phone and garage band. 